Power guys, welcome back to the car review. So today we are finally looking at the Water Shadal Monster, the Fusion Monster, finally. So this is El Shadal Anomalilith, Anomalilith? or in Japanese it's Eru Shadaru Amurirusu. That's probably one of the most racist names ever. Just that's like all the L's just turn them into R's, like. Like, that's probably one of the big Asian stereotypes, but, it, I mean, like, literally, if you go search up El Shadal Amalilith on the freaking wiki and look, look at the freaking Japanese Romanji, and then, bam, right there. So racist. <laughs> I guess that's how they say it. Just all the L's to R's. Anyway, this is the Water Shadal Fusion, so finally we know what it is. You know, it was uh, rumored that it was going to be like a, like a, um, like an Azura Pre, so... You know, everybody assumed that it was pretty much going to be a monster that has fairly high attack that would attack all your opponent's special summon monsters from the extra deck. So, kind of like, um, um, she, no, uh, Susana Noel. And you can just go attack, 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 but nope, that is not the case. This is the real effect. So, let's go ahead and get to it. So, it is a water fiend, fiend, fusion effect level 9. So, you know, they have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, so, there you go. Uh, it has 2,700 attack to gun defense, so fairly nice stats. 2,700 is nothing to scoff at. Uh, I think that's actually Trishula's stats, so it's actually pretty good. Card art, interesting like usual. It's something to do with Construct. Like, you know, it, like, what's up with that? Like, there's Construct. Then there's Shikinaga with Construct in it. And now this card has Construct in it. Like, what's up with this bitch? This bitch is just cosplaying. She's just like, hey, look, look what I'm doing. Like, like she's literally just taking pictures of herself doing various things, you know. She kind of looks like, kind of looks like a Gishki monster with that like veil and, you know, watery iciness. Or maybe she's kind of trying to. No, 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 no. She's trying to be. She's trying to be Trishula. You can see the thing on her head. It's kind of like Trish. Yeah, she's trying to be Trishula. That's cute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Seriously, what's up with the cosplay? Like on Shiki Nagas, she's cosplaying with freaking Tower slash Killers, and this she's cosplaying as Trisha. What's up with everybody being Trisha? Why does everybody want to be Trishula? This is like, what, is this the second card where someone's trying to cosplay as Trisha? I mean, I get it. Trishula is powerful. It's a very well respected monster, but it's just like hey, I want to just play Trishula. <laughs> anyway, it is made with one Chidal monster plus one Water monster. All right. So the fact is, must be. Fusion summon. Alright, must be fusion summon. Uh, neither player can special summon monsters from their hand or graveyard with spell slash trap effects. This card since the graveyard, you can target one Shadal spell slash trap and card in your graveyard added to your hand. Alright, so I don't know what's up with Konami lately, but what's up with this freaking just this blatantly dog eat dog gameplay that we are just having right now? You know, it was actually a fake card where it literally just said that your opponent can't play any Burning Abyss, Klee, or Shadal Monsters. And I was just like, wow, some, someone's super butt hurt. Like, why would you, how can you just completely lock out an entire archetype like that? By just not blatantly stating that you're doing that, but just kind of word it differently. So, it seems like Konami's just making like these doggy dog work cards. Like, think about it. Neither player can special summon monsters from their hand or graveyard with this effect. With spells or trap effects. Alright, think about it. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. What deck this this card completely fuck over? Yep, Necros. Just fucks them in the butt. You can't you can't ritual summon anymore. Nope, no more ritual summoning. Everybody else is pretty okay, you know? When you fuse, you're special summoning the monster from the extra deck. Pendulum summoning, that's a game mechanic, so you're not technically special summoning with a spell effect. You it's a game mechanic, so they're fine. Burning Abyss are fine. It's just Necros who are just getting laid down and this card is just going to town on their butts. It's just like, wow. Like, what, what's up with this? And, you know, and, 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 and it's not like I'm shocked because this isn't the first time that Konami has just made a card where they just blatantly just looked at an archetype and were like, yeah, you guys are going to get fucked by this. You know, because think about it. Shadals, they get completely ass raped, like completely just... Like, did you blatantly make this card to get to fuck up Shadals? By Diamond. Diamond, like, you read Diamond and you're just like, alright, fuck Shadals, fuck Shadals, oh, and fuck Shadals, alright. Well, this card is like, hey, fuck Necros. So, Tower Knights fuck Shadals, and Shadals fuck Necros. It, 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 it's, it's just like, 
It's just like a freaking fucking centipede with this shit, you know? So now we need so we need someone to so now we need necros to fuck Cleese and then Cleese can get Carter to fuck Burning Abyss and everybody just fuck each other, you know? Everybody just get fucked up because it really seems like <laughs> like they just don't give no fuck. Like everybody just beat the shit out of everybody. So, of course, this card fucks necros. But there's one one uh, lit, one incy bincy little problem with this is that of course you need a water monster you need a water monster now what would be the simplest way to go ahead and summon this this card super poly but you know here in the tcg that's banned ocg they still have it at one so you know they can go ahead and be like super poly your water monster my shadal bam fuck you necros fuck you yeah but here we gotta be a little bit more creative. So of course you can go ahead and use core. You know, should always kind of attack like one core to go ahead and you know grab the stuff back. But also you can go ahead and kind of change its type. I definitely prefer core over uh, Nefshadal Fusion. I do not like that card, but that's another choice. You can go ahead and like you know equip Nefshadal Fusion to one of your Shadal monsters called Water, then go ahead and fuse it up into this. So that's a method that you can choose, or you can just go ahead and tech some water monsters in the deck. You know, so. Uh, uh, if you guys remember on the on the next great YouTuber, my my first and only video from the next great YouTuber competition, I did a video talking about Shadals and about you know various cards that you can run for the various fusions. If you guys remember that, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that again, and I'm gonna talk about some cards that you can go ahead and run as water to go ahead and, and fuse into this. So of course, let's start with the probably the first one, probably the easiest one, Fire Ice Hand, Ice Hand, Water. There you go. Firehand will, of course, allow you to go into Gristal. Now, of course, Destruction isn't as good as of lately, but it's a little bit better, you know? Some decks side the Fire and Ice Hand in for Cleese, so, you know, that's a thing that you can go ahead and do. So, that's a choice, you know? Firehand will allow you to go into Gristal, which, you know, not you're not really allowed, allowed to go into lately because there's not a lot of tech fire cards. I mean, no one's teching Volcanic Shell and shit at all. So, that's method. And then you just throw an Ice Hand as well to go ahead and go into this. Another method you can try to go is should all heroes should all heroes you know should alls already have the ability to play uh you know like mass change second or mass change two so they can go into you know dark law you can probably throw in a couple of them uh, shadow mists you know so if you like shadow fusion from your deck you can like you know send a shadow and send a shadow mist and go ahead and summon uh you know uh, Winda and, and, you know, the Shadow Mist will get its effect, and, you know, you can always do plays like that, but then all you have to do is, if you're, you're gonna go through, down that method, that, that route, just throw in some Bubbly Man, just throw in the Bubbly, Bubble Man is water, bam, there you go, you know, you can go ahead and fuse from your deck and send the Bubble Man to go ahead and go into this, or, you know, if it's in your hand, you can go ahead and just special summon it if you know you got no, uh, other cards in your hand, so, you know, Maybe should all heroes might be a thing, you know? You can also, if you're running the Bubbly Man, you can Nash Train Second to Acid and wipe it all, or you can Miracle Fusion into Conch. I mean, you know, cool. Miracle Fusion into Absolute Zero. I almost said Construct. <laughs> into Absolute Zero. You know, so there's a possibility that should all heroes might actually be a thing, you know? Maybe heroes aren't strong enough by themselves. Maybe should alls aren't strong enough by themselves. But maybe if they combine their powers, they can create Captain Planet and combat the meta. And the final card that I want to go ahead and uh, talk about is uh, uh, <sighs> Treeborn Frog. Treeborn Frog. You know, Shadals, as of late, have not been running much back row. You know, they even play triple. Uh, uh, oh my god, what was her, what, what was her name? Denko Seka, you know, to lock down the back row. So they don't play a lot of back row. I mean, you know, mostly out there setting is maybe that one core and maybe some El Shadal fusions, but, you know, they're really on setting cards. So you can go ahead and use Treeborn Frog as your water, and then Treeborn will come right back during summer phase as long as you don't have any, you know, spells and trap cards in your zone. So that's another card that you can go ahead and uh, use for uh, this card right here. So overall, it's just kind of funny that, uh, that Konami just keeps on creating these just... Blatant, blatant, just fuck you in the ass cards, you know, and I just want to see what they continue to do, you know, I totally did not see that Konami was going to create this card like this, and it's just interesting that uh, this card can combat Necros, because Shadals, before this card existed, before this card existed, had a terrible, terrible Necros match, like, 
terrible. You know, they're all special summoning from the hand. You know, you can't really get off your shit off fusions. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you're pretty, pretty much back to a basic sh uh, fusion deck to where you gotta fuse with materials in your hand. And if you don't have uh, the materials in your hand, you're not fusing. And Shadows are really anticlimactic without their fusions. So uh, it's good that they can go ahead and get something to combat Necros because when I was using Shadows on Daily Duels and I would go against Necros, I would pretty much lose. Pretty much. So it's nice that they're actually getting something. I'm not the biggest fan of Shadows, but you know, with Necros supposedly being the top tier back, it's nice that they'll go ahead and get something. I was so dumb, like, with for freaking YCS to come in, I was like, how come Shadows didn't use this card and, you know, beat that guy? It's not out yet. <laughs> it's not out yet in TCG, hello? <laughs> so, anyway, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about El Shadow Anomalilith. I think it's Anomalilith. I think that's it. Anomarirusu. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys on Thursday with another card to look at. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.